Hello, this video may still be a slap to achieve, and here is a small video lesson dedicated to the article Developing Prophylactic Thinking Part 2. Link to the full article you can find in the description below the video. Take a look on this example. What can we see? It's clear that what have some advantage. They can develop the pressure against weak d6 pawn and have a notorious pair bishop's advantage. But almost all black pieces stays on good squares, so they have a good chances to give a full fight. I especially said almost, only one piece still not in the game, the knight on b7. If it was black's turn, they undoubtedly will play knight c5 and starts to attack our e4 pawn. But here it's white's turn, so they need to prevent their knight's connection. b4. By this move, they totally cut off the knight on b7 from the game. He haven't got normal moves anymore. May seems like black can take on e4, so let's calculate it. After take on e4, he takes, takes, knight d5, takes, takes, and the difference between power of knights here is obvious. Knight on b7 even have not got any moves, while white queen and strongest knight on d5 began crashing at it. White just want to play queen d4 or rook e7, later maybe knight f6. So let's go to the beginning. After b4, black can try to break the queen side snail on b4 by a5. But white just improved it after a3, and black still have a problem with this coordination. And Giant says that the best continuation here is just give up the pawn after d5, but after takes knight d6, of course only white here is playing for a win. Don't forget to control the position of the immobile pieces of the enemy, each of these dreams to improve their own position, thus in many cases reverse the course of the struggle. Going to the next example, first let's try to understand who have an advantage here. I think that 99% of chess players want to play this position with white. It could be explained by different factors, but the main constrained black space and limited possibilities for their pieces. It may seem like white could play how they want without any plan, without looking for openings counterplay, because here it doesn't exist. But in fact, only one idea could help for black to save this tough position, and Peter Swidler find and immediately prevent it. Black's idea was to play knight a6, going on c5, but the point that is now the final destination. Later, knight goes on e5 through d7, where he will stabilize black's position. Swidler played bishop d3. Another possible way was bishop e3, but it's much more weaker, because after knight a6, bishop d3, knight c5, takes, white have doing little combination, but after d6, bishop c4, takes. They win the exchange, but black reach extremely strong bishop on e5, which will be block white's ideas moving through e5 and d4 squares. So, going back to the start, after bishop d3, black play knight a6 and white simply exchanging this. Takes, rook c6, check and rook fc1 and finally black haven't got any chances to defend from penetration of white's rooks clear that white have an advantage due to the possession of d file and bad placement of black's bishop on c8 but white have even concrete position of read here playing b4 they completely occupy black's queen side and fix weak pawns on a6 and b5 here doesn't help the connection of the bishop into the game, for example after e5, tactical bishop g4, takes, takes, 
now B4. And despite of equal material, black stays almost losing. White just want to take on A6 and B5 and hard to find a way to prevent it. For example, after Rook A8 or Bishop B7. But by tactical decision on the first move, Anand escapes from the clutch. He played B4 and the tactical because after Rook D8 Rook C7, Bishop D7, Shira wins the exchange, but I'm sure that Anand calculates all of it. He played Rook C5, C6, takes Bishop B5, takes, going from the pin, B8 and Rook C2. And despite of the material deficit, black have reasonable counterplay here. They will put their bishop on c5 and so try to eat all of pawns in the second rank. Shirov still tries to put some problems, but Anna managed to hold it finally. The most important question in this example what white want? It's clear that the idea is to open the lines on queen side, for example, A line, B line, and organize the counterplay instead black's activity on the king side. But great positional player Tigran Petrosian divines Pesky's plan and find the way to totally stop White's attack. He played firstly c4. After bishop e2, and now key of his idea, a6, and it turns out that white's pawn failed to open the lines for rook. For example, if white play a5, on it follows b5. So if play b5, they play a5. In both cases, blocks the position. While White haven't got any active ideas, Petrosan developed his own plan against White skin and win in this battle. Black's position looks pretty active, but Kasparov here have an idea to block all of Black's possibilities by playing c5 and reaching huge space advantage. In the game he's opened, Bakro couldn't find it and after a long canceling c5. Going back on b7, changing queens, takes, takes, d6, bishop c4, he faced with serious problems. If he take on c5, he will have dubious triple pawns on c file instead of white strong best e pawn. Or after d5, bishop e2, white will have clear plan of actions. They can go with their king on d4, for example, and trying to unhinge black's position with rooks. Play b4 and double rooks on a file, making the pressure on a7 pawn. Or go with rooks on h file and make the pressure on h7 pawn. Here we have a lot of opportunities and Bakro failed to hold for really long. Going back to the beginning, now they know that black should stop the pawn movement, but right now c5 is impossible, because rook on a8 stay under the heat, so the only one right way was queen c5, and if I try to disturb the queen by queen e3, like in the game, on it follows takes on e3, rook e3, and he already they can play c5. Later, bishop go on b7 on the main diagonal, and looks like black solved their problems and have a nice endgame. The next example is not really hard but very helpful. By their last move, queen d2, white create the idea of exchanging black square bishops. 
Important to understand that Black's play will be on the queen side. They want to play a5, later b4, perhaps put the knight on d4. For all of these ideas, they need their bishop. He controls the main diagonal, organize the pressure on b2 pawn, support the knight when he will go on d4. Summing up these factors, it becomes obvious that black should save their bishop. Right now, if it was white's turn, they will play bishop h6, and bishop can't go from g7 because rook on f8 stay under the hit. So, the prophylaxis here consists in move rook e8. This idea to play after bishop h6, bishop h8, saving your bishop. Remember, you need to track on every move these small tricks, all together in the end lead us to the desired result. I hope that this lesson was useful for you and helps to improve your chess play. Up to new meetings on training channel Friendly Chess.